Hello everybody, it's me, I'm back. Um, I wanted to take a little video of my vignette that I, <clears throat> that I made here um, to celebrate Dia de los Muertos. And um, so I'll just show you what I got. Like, uh, well, I think I took video of this a time before where I had it um, on my table, but um, I needed space on my table, so I, I moved it to this wall. And um, uh, this, th this thing here that I have um, draped is the little stove um, from when I was doing the childcare. I had this little play uh, stove. So I decided I was gonna try to sell it in my yard sale, but I decided to keep it. So, um, so I just, I had a blanket, a gray blanket, and I had these curtains that I took down from my childcare room, and I washed them. They're just sheer, they're just the, the sheer um, curtains, but uh, they're gray color. And then this little um, hanging um, wall decor is from the 99 cent store, and um, the little sugar skulls, the little green, and white sugar skull are from the 99 cent store and so is this I thought this was so cute it's shaped like a little casket and then um, the little paper doll is from the 99 cent store I got everything the same day a few weeks back and the, the, the little earrings though were mine I've had them for a long time when I used to work, I was a, I used to work at Cypress Place, which was um, a, a, a facility for assisted living for seniors. And I worked in the kitchen. I was a food server, so I worked in the kitchen in the dining room, and that ended for me in in 2019, the end of 2019. But I, I had, I used to wear these when uh, for Halloween um, when I was working, and then of course the candle. You have to have a candle. And then the little twinkling lights are also from the 99 cent store. Now the pictures though, this is my grandmother, my Nana Rosa, my mother's mother. And this is my, um, my, oh shoot the glare, um, shoot the glare. Uh, th this is my Nana Irene. She is my, my grandmother on my father's side, my dad's mom. So yeah, so I have it set up there, and then um, this table I'm using right now. Um, I kind of wanted to go, you know, because I think I said in the last video that um, I wanted to really celebrate Dia de los Muertos and honor my um, friends and families who have passed away. And so, um, so I wanted to kind of re, just retouch on this one thing. Uh, this was um, George Avila, my mother's brother, and I just forgot to say that I, I don't know how old he was when he passed away, but he was very young. Now, his prayer card, they didn't put the dates of when he was born and when he passed away, but I believe he was a year older. I, maybe I'm wrong. He was either a year older or younger than my mother. I think he was a year older. My mother was born in 45, so that means he was born perhaps in 44, and he died in 66, I'm thinking. So um, he would have been about 22 or 23 when he passed away. So he, he died very young. And I, uh, my mother told me too that my, my grandmother, my Nana Rosa, took his passing uh, particularly hard and she never really, really made a full recovery um, emotionally from uh, when her son George passed away. And my mother gave my brother um, George's middle name. My brother's name was Stephen George. Um, so yeah, so that was, um, th th um, these are the prayer cards that I have for my loved ones who have passed away. So um, uh, this is, I talked about uh, Manuel Avila was my, my mother's father who I have no recollection of at all, n none at all. Um, also, too, another prayer card. This this prayer card belonged to uh, my other grandfather. Uh, his name was Manuel Simon Hernandez. My father was a junior. 
Manuel Simon Hernandez, and um, I don't have, uh, how sad is it that I, I really don't have any recollection of my grandfather on, on my dad's side either. Um, <laughs> I know he was born on an Indian reservation in, in um, uh, San, um, in the uh, San Bernardino uh, or Riverside County somewhere in that area he, he was born on an Indian reservation and his mother and his grandmother were a uh, Chumash Indian okay and so then um, the next prayer card I, I went in order by when these uh, these people passed away so uh, in 19 1980 1999 rather uh, Jake Morales this is a prayer card for he was a second cousin of mine. I didn't know him very well, but the saddest thing was that uh, he died very young as well. He was born in 79, and he passed away in 99. Uh, he, um, he was in a car accident, and, and he lost, lost his life in a car accident. And I remember it was very, very sad for everyone, but especially uh, his parents, my, my father's cousin Richard Morales and, and his wife Nancy so yeah and so then this too um, this I'm not even sure I, I'm not sure where I got this but it's 12 ways to deal with your grief and the first thing that it says it talks about lighting a candle so um, yeah so I like to light a candle and um, I just want to spend the whole month instead of just one day I want to use the whole month to um, remember the people that uh, I've known and who have passed away. So, yeah, so um, let's see. Oh, I wanted to show this. Um, I'm still working on this project. Now, this high chair used to belong to Vincent, and then Helena used it, and it was brown, and I spray painted it gray. And I stenciled the rose, the, the rose um, design here and here. And I'm gonna look for a pink uh, seat, a, a, a pink uh, seat cushion. And then this little chair belonged to Vincent too. And it, it looked more like a little chair for a little boy. But I spray painted it the same gray to match this high chair. And then I had this, um, it used to look different, but I didn't like the way it came out, so I took it apart. This little um, fringe I had from um, another time, and, the, and then um, I did my own upholstery on the chair. I think I did a pretty good job. I don't want to show underneath. It's a little fun, funny looking on the bottom, but on the top it looks, it looks all right. Yeah, and then the other thing is I wanted to share... Oh, by the way, today is Friday, uh, June, or not June, Friday, October the 7th. Um, I wanted to say that today I sold, oh, by the way, if the camera shuts off abruptly, it's because, uh, sorry about that, that's the ice cream truck going by. Um, I'm having problems with storage in my phone, and so if the camera abruptly shuts off, that's why. But anyway, I made $51 today because I had 51, uh, I thought I had 44, but I actually had 51 of the uh, patio, they were 12 by 12 concrete patio stones, and um, I've had them for years and years. As a matter of fact, when we bought this house in 2000, we brought all those patio stones with us from the apartment that we used to rent, uh, the Timbers Apartments in Oxnard. So I sold them today. I put them on Facebook Marketplace um, yesterday, and I sold them today, and I got fifty-one dollars. So I wanted to, I wanted to um, share that because you know, I, I, we, I was planning to take them with me to New Mexico if we, you know, but um, oh God, but um, oh Lord. Uh, they were too heavy. It, it, they would have been too heavy. So, okay. So coming back in the house, um, yeah. So made myself uh, 